of time and space A parallel universe is falling on its face When out of the chaos, who else could it be? But the animal adventurers from S.P.A.C.E. Bucky! Captain Bucky O'Hare Mutants and aliens and toads beware You're looking for adventure, well this is it We're Jenny, Dead Eye, Blinky and Willie to win I said Bucky! Captain Bucky O'Hare Bucky O'Hare on the Toad Wars In the battle of the universe you don't know what's next You only know amphibians are made it complex When you check out your scanner and the evil that it bodes There's only one course of action Let's go for some toad Bucky! Captain Bucky O'Hare He goes where no ordinary rabbit would dare If your righteous indignation has suffered a hit And your photon accelerator is broken a bit And you're losing your mind and you're having a fit Get the funky fresh rabbit who can take care of it It's Bucky! Captain Bucky O'Hare face with rugged masculine warts. And remember, warts galore is the only wart cream that guarantees to give you gorgeous new warts or your money back. Veruca, mm, my darling, marry me. Cut it out, Frax. You're slobbering all over the screen. Frax, Frax, uh, your addiction to Toad TV is unhealthy. Uh, no, Emma. Yes, Emma, Marshall. Come along. It's time for my award ceremony. <laughs> uh, it isn't every day I conquer and enslave an entire planet, let alone the home world of my greatest enemy, Bucky O'Hare! Bucky, I have a fix on that distress signal. Good work, Jenny. What have we got? Sensors show the signal coming from inside a towed slave ship. And I detect six escort fighters. Just six? Attention all hands, battle stations. Get ready for some righteous toad tag with a squadron of towed fighters. <laughs> Damn's magic words, Bucky, my boy. It's been too long since old dead I duck got to croak some toadies. Engineering, report. Android first class, thank you, reporting, sir. Chief Engineer Bruce, deeply involved in contemplation of Photon Accelerator. What a pile of junk. No, I don't like the sound of this Photon Accelerator, Captain. In fact, a part of this machine ain't even in the same space-time continuum with us. Put it on a back burner, Bruce. Okay, but I don't like it. Jenny, you and Bruce form a boarding party. I want you to take over the slave ship. Deadeye and I'll take care of the escorts. Let's cross town! Squadron, listen up. Enemy ship in Sector 4 and closing. Prepare to blast them into mammal mush. Hang on for evasive maneuvers. Eat hot eye off, you slimy slime suckers! <laughs> Party away! Nice shooting, Deadeye! <laughs> I could take out this lot with three arms tied behind me back! You toads are fighting like a bunch of tadpoles! Blast those mammals! The intruders have broken into the shuttle bay. Security team to airlock three on the go! <laughs> Imagine a couple of dumb turbos taking us, son! <laughs> Wait till they open the airlock and see us waiting for them. <laughs> It'll be like catching flies in a bottle. Surrender in the name of the Toad Empire! Are you talking to me? A Beetlejuice in Berserker Babu! Run away! Help! Yo, Babu!
I wasn't thinking so much of resisting as dismantling. <laughs> it's okay. She's only a cat. We thought you was gonna be a berserker baboon. <laughs> what a relief. I do believe I'm being insulted. Bucky, if they've gotten wise, they're staying clear of me shooting zone! I know, our shields are taking a pounding, but we've got to lead them as far away from the slave ship as we can. Like your new locker decoration, Will Willie? Dog McKenna. I thought so. Nerd must have been the only word short enough for you to spell. Last warning, smart mouth. You never miss a single question in math or science. That makes it real hard for the rest of us to squeeze by. But I like math and science. It's easy. Listen, knucklehead. The big science test coming up next week, you better get an F. Or I'm gonna wipe your nose off of your face. Jedi, I can't shake them! Prepare for a backward loop! <laughs> Air Marshal that Captain Bucky O'Hare of the Righteous Indignation demands immediate withdrawal of all towed military vessels from mammal space, or he'll face the fury of the United Animal Space Fleet. Hey, hey Air Marshal, sir. Bucky O'Hare has freed our last slave ship and destroyed six of our fighters. Bucky O'Hare? Bucky O'Hare? Every time I turn around, that infernal hair has struck again! But it gets worse, sir! The unmentionable mammal threatened us with a united animal space fleet! So, the stinking little hairballs have raised a fleet, have they? <laughs> I'll crush them! Send out every fighter! <laughs> Scour space until you find the righteous indignation! <laughs> but the old hair must be destroyed! <laughs> Buck, prepare yourself for the worst. This will be very hard for you. Hard for me, but... You're all hairs! But, but that means... No, it, it can't be. Yes, the Toads have conquered war in our homeworld. All the others were taken to be slaves in Toad factories, and we were the last. They have gone too far. This is personal. No fly-sucking, slimy, crooked piece of sludge toad has taken over my planet. Be true to your mission and save the rest of the Aniverse. Go to the Council of Genus at once. Warn them of the terrible danger. To, to Genus! Genus. To Genus. <laughs> Don't you like the tofu burgers, Willie? I'm not very hungry. 
What's the matter, son? Dad, if you knew somebody was gonna beat you up for doing something you thought was really important, would you do it anyway? Son, there are some things so important they're worth doing no matter what the cost. Like making sure that when you grow up, there are whales and owls and an ozone layer. Oh, David, the rally. We've got to run. Bucky, we're approaching Genesis' defense system. Hey, let's move it, huh? I can't wait to get off this stinking slave ship. Bucky, I've got to transmit a clearance code to the genus defense system. They don't know it's our hairs aboard that toad ship. They'll destroy it, Jenny. Transmit that code. I'll run interference. Transmitting code. Orwell Station has cleared both ships for entry. This special session of the United Animal Security Council is now in session. I've just received word that Captain Bucky O'Hare is here. Members of the council, I asked for a fleet. You gave me one measly frigate. Now the toads have taken over my own home world. Genus could be next, sacked, destroyed and everyone carted off to be slaves in toad factories. Like my friends and countrymen, the hares. Excuse me! <laughs> this fuckus is getting on me nerves, Bucky, me boy. That's better. Now listen up. I can't bluff the toads forever. And it's gonna take more than my ship the righteous indignation to stop them. You must commission more ships before it's too late. My dear Bucky O'Hare, of course we'd love to give you more ships, but to justify the expense of more ships, we need documented evidence of the full toad atrocity. You want evidence, you'll have it. Brought to you by Flam, the compressed fly loaf. Made only with grade A jumbo flies. No gnats, no beetles. Simply pure mashed up flies. Delicately pulped into a thick, gooey, nutritious loaf. Now, Marshall. Yeah, at your service complex. Have you dealt with Bucky O'Hare yet? Oh, my ship search everywhere for him. I, 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 I will find him, complex. Do not fail me, Air Marshal. I will be watching you. Squadron leader to mothership. I have spotted the enemy. Prepare for hyperspace jump. I'm going home. All ships in sector eight, attack! Bucky, my sensors are going crazy. Attack! There must be 50 toads on our tails. Shield's about to fail. All hands, prepare for hyperspace jump. Cap, all this shaking ain't done this photon accelerator no good. I gotta fix it, boys. Fix it fast. We've lost two of our main engines. I'm gonna buy Bruce some time. Here goes nothing. 
Jenny, I'm going below to peruse this debacle firsthand. You're in charge. Aye, aye, Captain. Poor Bruce. We'll miss him. How bad is it, Blinky? Oh, much worse than you can imagine, Captain. Replaced microcircuits, but cannot predict unpredictable outcome of turning on accelerator. If warp drive is activated... Bucky, our forward shields are failing. If we don't warp out in 30 seconds, we'll never make it. We have a choice between certain destruction and the great unknown. I guess there's only one choice we can make. Today, my science project, the Photon Accelerator, is ready for testing. Sounds funny. Must have changed phase on it somehow. Mom, Dad, you should hear this recording. Remember, I did it in the name of science. Hey! The accelerator is absorbing all the energy from the area. It feels like we cool blackberry gelatin. Who's there? Who's there? Bucky, that me guns have gone dead. Bucky, we've been enveloped by some kind of impenetrable stasis field. Nothing can get in or out. You think that's strange, Jenny? You better get down here. The size of it. Oh, look out! It's got a lightsaber. Don't shoot! It's it's only a flashlight and friendly. Easy, did I? You're a green rabbit. I'm Captain Bucky O'Hare of the United Animals Frigate, the Righteous Indignation. This is my gunner, Dead-Eyed Duck, First Mate Jenny, and Android First Class Blinky. What are you? M my name's Willie Dewitt, and I'm uh. Well, boy, this sounds kind of weird. I'm a human from another universe. Human? Must be some kind of mutated hairless baboon. Maybe this passageway is a result of the phase shift in my photon accelerator. Yes, photon accelerator is the link. We also have accelerator out of phase due to battle damage. Oh! What was that? Toad plasma cannons hitting hard enough to rock the whole stasis field. You're being shot at by toads? Yes. And unless we fix that accelerator, those toads are going to take us prisoner and conquer every free world in the Anniverse. Gee, you guys really are in trouble. Maybe I could help you out. Not likely, unless you can repair a Mark IV photon accelerator. Repair? Heck, I just built one. But I'll need a few things. I don't like the looks of this weapon, Captain. I'm gonna take it and confiscate it. Good idea. Bucky, you know, this is amazing. I mean, I've never been in another universe before, but the physical principles seem to operate pretty much the same. Uh, except for a few things. That should do it. When I activate the warp drive, you'll lose the stasis field for good. But Willie, won't you lose your door too? Well, it should return when we're not using the warp drive. I hope. Then you should return to your own dimension first. Nope. I'm staying right here. There are some things so important. They're worth doing no matter what the cost. Willie do it. You are a very brave human. Oh, gosh. All hands to stations. Ready for action. <laughs> Willie, it's up to you now. Squadron again on my signal. Fire all guns at once. Three, two, one. In the next exciting episode of Bucky O'Hare and the Toad Wars, Willie joins the crew. I had me doubts, Willie, but you're sure worthy of my hands in friendship. How would you like to be our new engineer? Me? Really? Oh, wow. Ever. And they travel to Bucky's conquered homeworld. War it never looks like this. It's horrible. It's worse than anything I could have imagined. And sure, 
Smells bad. But can they survive when a secret toad agent betrays them? Boozer, dead I would like very much to speak to you and Blinky. Sure thing! It's that scurvy lizard! I knew he couldn't be trusted! All right, computer. Download all security and clearance codes. Bruiser, we've got to get through that door! Oh. He's gone! Be here for the next thrilling episode of Bucky O'Hare! We can't let him get away with those codes, no matter what the cost! <laughs> I've got you now, Bucky O'Hare! Ah!